Hello and welcome to my channel. What we have here, we're going to look at today, is the Bowie Knife Folding Hunter. Now before we get all into that, um, I have, you know, if you go back to the original one, I have read this little story here. Sandbar fight. Um, but... I have some more on that that I can read to you, but for right now, I just wanted to show you that it's the same pattern that they did this long rifle on, a folding hunter, and what this reminds me of and is very similar to, almost the same kind of knife, is the Backwoods Bushcrafter. You can see how it's got the same kind of saw cut bone. It's on a similar frame. Now this one is, you know, a liner lock, and this one doesn't lock, and has two blades. So, there is a difference, but, when you look at them, and you match them up and everything, double nail nick, single nail nick, two blades, but very similar. And this knife is... Very similar to the Cold Steel Ranch Boss 2. Single blade locking. So, on this one, of course, we have a main blade. It's like a saber grind. Is that hollow or flat? I think that's going to have to be checked. So, let me pause this. Yeah, this is a, a hollow grind right here. I just had to check that. But a very nice lockup. Nice tang stamp. Rough rider with an eye. Older one. Nice long shield. A lot of times that's what sets them off on the specials besides the uh, tin and everything else is they'll have a distinctive and different looking shield on them. That shield is not pinned, so if it falls out, I haven't had any of the big ones, you know, knives like this fall out, but let me get back to the vines guide and I'll read to you the story. Um... A lot of people can't get this. It's an out-of-print book. I think he went up to the 4th or 5th edition. And even used these things. Normally, they were, you know, you used to seeing these things. They were like $25, and you couldn't give them away. Some people would buy them, but now they're out of print. And people, you know, can't get them. But he goes and talks about this, and I'll read it to you. Um... The story of the Bowie knife began on September 19th, 19, 1827 on a Mississippi River sandbar just above Natchez. At that place was held what participants called an interview to settle an affair of honor. In other words, a duel. Duels were common enough occurrence in the Old South, but this particular interview turned ugly. Even though the initial counter encounter proved harmless to the two principals involved, the meeting swiftly degenerated into a rough fight among the dozen men present, leaving two of them dead and two others wounded. One of the men wounded in the melee was James Bowie, a young land speculator then residing in, I'm going to screw this up, Avoyales Parish, Louisiana. Bowie was a friend of Samuel Wells, one of the principals in the duel. In the rough fight, Bowie had been shot in the thigh and knocked down. He was then, according to the published account of Mr. Wells, set upon by a member of the opposing party, Major Norris Wright, who attempted to stab Bowie with a sword cane. By then, Bowie had already emptied both of his single-shot pistols, so to defend himself, he drew from under his coat a large hunting knife that his brother, Resin Bowie, had loaned him for his protection. He struggled up to a sitting position, and with one blow with his brother's knife, James Bowie killed Major Wright. Wright's friends later told a story much less flattering to Bowie, 
that he had first shot Wright and then stabbed him, but it was Wells' version that was widely circulated at the time. This incident, which came to be called the Vadala Sandbar fight, attracted an intense popular interest. The image of a wounded man lying on the ground struggling just to sit up, his guns empty and useless, yet who managed by one blow of a knife to slay an opponent who was attacking him with a sword, this image caught the fancy of the nation. In the popular mind, James Bowie's feat was attributed not so much to pluck and desperation of the man, but to some special undefined virtue of his knife. Bowie knife quickly became a fad, and then a fashion, then a fundamental fixture of the American scene. Young men of Bowie's planter class in the South came to be called the Bowie knife and pistol gentry, and then in 1836, James Bowie's dramatic martyrdom in defense of the Alamo in Texas guaranteed that his name would ever after be linked to an American fighting knife. And then he goes on to say, um, personal defense. The introduction in 1807 of compact, readily concealed, single-shot, cap-and-ball percussion pistols revolutionized personal defense. It rendered obsolete the small sword, so common in the 18th century. Now, for the first time, a gentleman might go forth effectively armed without openly revealing the fact. Howard was both ill-mannered and awkward to carry more than two pistols, which meant a man had only two shots to deal with opponents, assuming that both his pistols happened to work. After two shots, one's pistols were not only useful as bludgeons, although daggers, daggers of sizes have always been available, and remained popular, the Bowie knife came along just the right time to fill what many men perceived to be as a dangerous gap in their personal defense. Um, for nearly half a century, the Bowie knife was America's most popular sidearm, although late in the 1840s was joined in the spotlight by Colt's cap and ball revolver. A pair of Colt's might hold 10 to 12 rounds, but the percussion system was never reliable enough for a prudent man to stake his life solely upon his revolvers. Come rain, snow, or sleet, or gloom of night, a Bowie knife was always loaded and never failed to fire. So yeah, he's got a you know pretty good story in there. And they, they said basically, it was before um, photographs, before even tin types or, you know, stuff like that. So... The story got spread around and wild and carried on, but they believe it was probably a French chef, uh, chef's knife. Uh, they say, uh, to us today, his original style of Bowie knife looks more than anything like a French chef's knife, which was also based on the same model. So they, people wanted Bowie knives and... They didn't know what they looked like, but they wanted one. And so they made up, basically it evolved into something, you know, like this. So that's the story of that. And this knife is pretty much just a folding hunter, just like any other, you know, Rough Rider folding hunter. It's got a main blade. This one is actually behind, so you might not call it the main blade, but I'd call it the main blade. Nice hollow grind, clip point. And then you've got a skinning blade here. And that's about it. I'll put the specs up. Pretty nice knife. Like I said, comes in the tin. The tin has a little, you know, their version of this story. A little sleeve. Cardboard box, you know, foam insert. So there you go, that's the, if you, you know, like I said, if you um, wanted one of these knives and you couldn't get one of the special things, there's other folding hunters they have that are just regular. It'll basically just give you the same knife, it just won't have the emblem, the shield in it. So there you go, I hope you found that interesting. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.